Now, Wyatt Creech is a former national minister, but also the co-founder of Open Country Dairy, and he's now one of the directors of Kai Mai Cheese. He's a long-time critic of the Fonterra model, and he joins me now from Wellington. Good morning, Mr Creech. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning, Rachel. Has the Fonterra model failed? Should it be broken up? Well, it's, it's probably too late to break the whole thing up. But when New Zealand agreed to move to this model, it took the risk of putting its entire dairy industry into the hands of one group. And unless there is a high level of transparency and a high level of openness, the risk of this sort of thing getting a little out of hand is far too, is far too big. And I think it does need a high level of supervision to make sure that this doesn't happen. Could you understand from that recent interview you had what the implications are if it goes wrong. You've said in the past that one of the problems Fonterra's competitors essentially face is that uh, farmers are so loyal to Fonterra. How do you break that down, if you like? Well, I, I think farmers are worried about what's going on. I've seen several interviewed now who say we are under a very high standard on our farms to maintain cleanliness and hygiene in our milk and they were very surprised that this has happened off the farm. The bigger things though are the transparency, I think. Like this event occurred in May 2012. They found out about it apparently in March 2013. It's now August 2013, there are apparently two days when there wasn't a, uh, they knew about it, but they weren't telling the authorities. There was, uh, the chairman was absent for a week, saying that this was just an operational matter when, the, when it's a crisis for the company nothing that they've done. There might be more to it than meets the eye. These inquiries might find something we don't know about. But on the surface, if you're just getting the information the public gets, this looks appalling. What do you know about the culture uh, within Fonterra and say how that differs to the culture within um, the open country dairy? Look, I think they all concern themselves about, with a, to a high degree, about food safety. When you're a food company, you absolutely depend on maintaining consumer confidence. It's not just this incident in China that's caused the upset, but the fact they've had the melamine scandal, the, de the, 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 the scandal with the nitrate inhibitors. They've even now seen last week you know, a, a price rigging fine of 900,000 applied. None of this stuff looks good. People like to know that the companies that they're dealing with are clean as the driven snow when it comes to the food that they give to their infants because the implications of giving bad food are so bad. What do they have to do to salvage this? Well, I think the idea of having an inquiry by the board of Fonterra, even though they call them independent directors, they're only independent in the sense that they are non-farmers. I think it has to be a genuinely, totally independent review of Fonterra and processes. And they have, to, they have to find out what caused this. And if people are accountable, they have to uh, found to be responsible. They should be held accountable. You can't re-establish re confidence if you're not seen to do something about what is causing the upset in the first place. Wyatt Creech, former National Minister, now uh, Director for Kai Mai Chiefs. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time and your input this morning. Thank you, Rachel.